children, my name's Emma. Are you ready for our letters and sounds lesson? Fabulous! Let's learn to read some new words then. Let's begin by reading some phonemes you already know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. This grapheme says R. Ah. Now, can you remember the different ways of saying these graphemes? Yes, this says A, A and R. And how about this one? Yes, it says OR and ER. Now remember to say all of the sounds for each of the graphemes. Now it's your turn. Off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. R. A, A and R. Or and Er. Or. Or. Ch. Ch. Now, I'm going to mix the cards up. Can you read the graphemes on the cards aloud? You ready? Off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. Or. Or. R, A, A and R, OR and ER, CH, CH. Fabulous start with some super sounds. Now let's read some words with graphemes we already know. Read each sound as I point, then blend and read the word. Let's read it together. M a s k mask or m a s k mask. You might wear a mask like this one to a fancy dress party. What do you think? Okay, are you ready for our next word? Read each sound, then blend. K r a f. Or k r a f t, craft or craft. Crafts are all about making things. Knitting, sewing, and pottery are all types of craft. Can you spot the digraph? Two letters, one sound. Yes, the digraph is r. Read each sound, then blend. K r f. Calf. A calf is a baby cow. Right. Can you see the digraph in this word? Yes, the digraph is R. Read each sound, then blend. K R M. Calm. Take a nice deep breath and it will help you feel calm. Are you ready? Breathe in and out. Now, feel nice and calm. Now, how about this one? Can you see a grapheme that makes the sound ch? Yes, it's here. Read each sound, then blend. F-u-ch. Future. Brilliant reading. If you keep practising, you'll be an even better reader in the future. Okay, our last one. Can you see the trigraph in this word? Remember, a trigraph is three letters, one sound. Yes, the trigraph is ch. Read each sound, then blend. M, A, CH, MATCH. Our team scored a great goal in the last minute of the match. 
Great reading, everyone. Now I'm going to mix the words up. Can you read the words on the cards, but without sounding out this time? I am sure you can. Are you ready? Off you go. Let's check. Read them with me. Future. Match. Calm. Mask or mask. Craft or craft. Calf. You're doing so well, children. Fabulous reading so far. Well done. Now today we are learning a new grapheme for the phoneme or. Or. Or, copy me, or, or, or. Now let's sound talk some words with the phoneme, or. Copy me, say the sounds, then blend the sounds to say the word. Or, or, u, a, z. Or, or, u, a, z. Your turn. Or, or, w, a, z. Always. Now, copy me again. Put your hand under your chin and say, always. Each time you feel your hand go down, it's a syllable. Always. That's two syllables, isn't it? Copy me again and count how many syllables. Always. That's two syllables. Great work. Now, I always have a nice hot cup of tea when I wake up in the morning. Let's try another word. Copy me. Say the sounds, then blend the sounds to say the word. B, O, U. B, O, U. Your turn. B, O, U. Ball. Watch me throw and catch this ball. Now, let's sound talk our final word. Copy me, say the sounds, then blend the sounds to say the word. S, m, o, u. S, m, o, u. Your turn. S, m, o, u. Small. This ball in the picture is only small, but it's easy to catch. We know the sound or is written like this. It can also be written like this and this. Today we are learning that or can also look like this. Let's read the new grapheme for or. Say the sound or each time I show you the grapheme or. Well done. Great reading of or. Now let's read some words with our new grapheme for the phoneme or. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read together. B, O, U, ball. I like playing catch with my ball. Okay, ready for another one. Read each grapheme, then blend to read the word aloud. Let's read the word together now. W, O, U, wall. If you paint a picture, we could put it up on this wall. Okay. Sound out and blend. This is a longer word, so let's chunk it up. Now let's read together. W, O, W, T, A, T. Water. My goodness, children, this used to be a tricky word, but you can sound it out now. Well done. Right, how about this one? You ready? Let's read it together. T or L tall. Can you stretch up nice and tall? Oh, well done, that's right. Okay, now. 
How about this one? You ready? Let's read together. K or all call. Well, I never. Another tricky word that you can sound out now. I shall call all my friends and tell them about it. OK, off you go. Now let's read it together. S -m -or -l. Small. Kittens are cute and very small. Right. Sound out and blend. It's a longer word, so let's chunk it up. Let's read the word together. Or, all, all, ways, ways, always. On Sundays, I always take my little dog for a nice long walk. Okay, our last word. Ready? Or, all, all. This word used to be tricky too, but you can read it now. Let's read it one more time together. Or, all, all. Great reading. Now I'm going to mix the words up. Can you read the words on the cards without sounding out? Fabulous. Let's give it a go. Off you go. Let's check. Read them with me. Wall. Water. Tall. Always. All. Call. Small. Ball. Wow! What superstars, children. You really are impressing me today. Now let's read some tricky words we've read before. You know how to read this tricky word. Can you remember the tricky bits? Yes, the first tricky bit is here. This says and the second tricky bit is that this says ooh. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. Ooh, who? Now Let's practice reading another tricky word. You've met this one before too. Can you remember the tricky bits? Yes, the tricky bits are that this says r and this says a. Uh. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. D, I, F, R, A, N, T. Different. Right, now let's read them quickly. I want you to read them aloud. Now let's read them together. Who? Different. Did you get them right? Brilliant. Now let's read a sentence with graphemes we already know. Can you see any words with digraphs or trigraphs? Remember, digraphs are Two letters, one sound, and trigraphs are three letters, one sound. Yes, these words have digraphs. A, all, and all. And this word has a trigraph. Ch. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember to sound out any words you're not sure of. Brilliant reading. Now let's read the sentence together. Read with me as I point to the words. I always catch the small ball. Let's read the sentence one more time. I always catch the small ball. See, 
I can, I told you so. I always catch the small ball. Well, you have all been amazing with your reading today. So let's see if we can now be amazing with our spelling too. I'm sure we can, because if you can read a word, then you can have a go at spelling it. You will need paper and something to write with. Let's spell two words with our new grapheme. Let's spell always. Segment the sounds with me. Always. O, O, U, A, Z. Let's count how many sounds there are. O, O, U, A, Z. That's five sounds. Watch me write always. I need five sounds. O. O. Ooh. A is a digraph. Two letters, one sound. So I need to write two letters. Z. Always. O, U, U, A, Z. Now I'm going to hide the word. Then you can have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. Don't forget the digraph. Are you ready? Should we check our spelling? You show me your spelling. Always. O, O, U, A, Z. Did you get it right? Brilliant. Now, let's try another one. Let's spell small. Segment the sounds with me. Small. S, M, O, O. Let's count how many sounds there are. S, M, O, O. That's four sounds. Watch me write small. I need four sounds. S. M. Mm. O. O is a digraph. Two letters, one sound. So I need to write two letters. Small. S, M, O, O. Now, I'm going to hide the word. Now you have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. Remember the digraph. You ready? Yeah, let's check our spelling. You show me your spelling. Did you get it right? S -m -o -o, small. Well done. Now let's spell a tricky word. We've spelt this word before. Let's practice spelling who again. Segment the sounds with me. Who, who. Let's count how many sounds there are. H, ooh, that's two sounds. Can you remember the tricky bits? Yes, the first tricky bit is that the letters W, H say H. And the second tricky bit is that the letter O says OO. What do we write? Who? The H sound, remember, is written with the letters W, H. And the oo sound is written with the letter O. <sighs> oo, who? Let's hide the word. Now you have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. What are the tricky bits?
write it down. Let's check our spelling. You show me your spelling. Did you get it right? Ooh, who? So who has worked incredibly hard today? You all have. Well done for doing so well with your reading and spelling children. See you soon for another lesson with letters and sounds.